Testing, testing, one, two, three. Is this thing on? Alrighty. So, um, today I will be playing uh, Soma by Frictional Games. I played a little bit of it a couple days ago, uh, and was very, I was very impressed just by the game, how it was made. Um, in the beginning of the game, we had a really interesting section where we kind of explored around the quote-unquote real world and got to see some features of the game engine, got to kind of play around with objects and physics and like the door system and all that. So that was kind of neat. But yeah, so th this is Frictional Games, the creator of the Amnesia series, uh, kind of did a one-off in a new intellectual property called Soma. It's basically like a hard science fiction, kind of spooky AI, whatever, horror game set like in this underground or underwater like you know research laboratory um basically to start the first part of the story uh we woke up as a some kind of person with some kind of accident or whatever who had just recently lost their partner um and we had to grab our mri contrast fluid drink it and head to some kind of really sketchy like brain MRI lab, where this uh, this very quirky scientist guy who is not a doctor, uh, like took a full brain scan with all this equipment, and so then you know all we know is right after that we woke up in this very strange underwater environment where something has gone horribly wrong. There's blood everywhere, and there are robots run amok killing people. Um, so great setup for a horror franchise. You know I've already speculated about the story. I I don't think. You know, if you think about it a little bit, it's not hard to guess. Um, but, you know, I'm sure we will see a couple surprises as it goes on. But um, I'm mainly interested in this as a game because, you know, science fiction, and it runs well on Linux, which is what I run for my computer. Um, so those two are good enough for me. And, yeah, so I think I'm going to play. And probably going to get super scared because it's been super scary already. Where I left off, I just escaped from this kind of bipedal robot that was just, like, hunting me, basically. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I accidentally killed a robot by disconnecting its power. And it was sapient. It was self-aware. Gynet has become self. Okay, so I just came down from there, and I had also just been contacted over the radio by somebody in a different lab, and they were basically saying, this crap is messed up, get over here, we've got a camp or something. So I'm, I'm trying to find other humans, head for safety, figure out what's going on, basically. That's a robot, uh, faking, asking for help, trying to, uh, trying to trick me and get me to reveal where I am. That's really creepy. I don't trust him. Oh, 
Oh gosh. Oh, is this Skynet? Did they take over the surface world? Is that why we're down here? Who knows? He's dead? He's dead. Zero seven two two, okay. Did you get the final backup turbos going? Everything is wired evenly. We've hedged our bets as much as we possibly can. So that's it. Enough power to run Pathos 2 until the next apocalypse. We're ready to go. I really hope we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. Relax, it's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We've sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're going to have a hell of a time getting a rock off. Hear something over that way.
Power production has been secured. We've sealed off the factories to keep the plant running. All superfluous systems have been shut off. If anyone ever has to return, know that the power flow regulator is hanging on by a thread. If you flip the switch, it's probably a no turning back situation. We're out of here, Carl. Okay. So he never sent that message. Power flow regulator. Okay. So flipping the switch would be very bad. Okay, so I I guess I got to get the uh Got to get the power back on somehow. Okay, they don't give me their staff ID numbers, but they do give me their names. Okay. So Amy was a field technician, so she's probably going to have the most access. Let's try that. Upsilon auto process. We've managed to link most backup turbos and activate all generators. Upsilon should be able to produce power for at least a decade before we start burning through the, flu the flues. The bad news is that the machines are getting worse. We've tried to come up with a way to shut them all down, but considering the insane amount of units at Upsilon, it's not looking good. Seriously worried they could disrupt power production when we leave. Any ideas? Good job. Try to get all the backup turbos running and cut production to 60%. With all the evacuations, we can survive on a low and steady hum. No need to strain the system. We should be able to get 20 through 25 years of production before we have to fall back on the turbos. The robots are getting increasingly erratic all over Pathos 2, and unfortunately there's no universal kill switch. Alright, note for you engineers out there, if you ever design a sentient or sapient AI, kill switch. It's not fun to think about, but good need. Seeing how we won't return to Upsilon, you could try sealing off sectors to prevent the helpers from getting to the sensitive areas. Okay. So, hopefully I won't let anybody into anything that's important. Okay. So I need to shut down power. I'm going to try that one first. I don't want to deal with the helper in there. In case he calls his friend. Looks bad. Okay, so this thing killed Carl, and then Amy killed this thing. Apparently with a very heavy electrical wire. Is that all that's in here?
Okay, this is just a place for me to hide if a robot starts coming back. Okay, so I'm going to have to come back here. Get that door open somehow. Simon, do you know anything about this place? Oh, you knew. That makes us slightly less weird. Look, I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. What's wrong with your... everything? Did you go diving in sewage or something? So, where are you, exactly? Are you for real? I'm right here. See me waiting? Look at my hands. Hey, buddy. Okay, okay. I, I'm just, I'm just gonna be. I, I'm not seeing it. I, I see a machine, a robot talking. What the hell are you looking at? I'm here. See? Okay. I, I just didn't expect you to look like that. You're really hung up on appearances. You know that? How did you hurt yourself? Not sure. Blacked out pretty bad. Can't remember how I got here. What do you remember then? I was in the pilot seat, promoting a UH. UH? A universal helper. You know, a robot like these things, but livelier. Anyway, I was just dealing with some heat shields, and that's my last clear memory. So apparently the pilot seat is supposed to be like a neural mapping. Can you... Hello? Can you hear me? It's me, Carl, calling from the floor. Like, right next to you. So apparently he must have gotten, you know, his brain copied into the the machine by accident. You were remote controlling a robot. We do it all the time. Robots are too on a way to deal with some stuff. Intuition doesn't grow on motherboards, you know. Did you maybe get trapped in the robot somehow? Your mind is pretty tightly wired to the helper, but nah, pretty far-fetched. That's probably what happened, actually. Listen, I don't want to alarm you. But I think you might be trapped in a robot. I'm telling you, get your eyes checked. I'm right here. I see both my hands, both my feet. When you remote, all you see is like a video feed from the helper unit. Your own body is entirely out of the picture. If you see any others, just let them know where I am. I'm really hurting here. Go get some help. Find someone who can help. If you see any others, just let them know where I am. So Carl is dead, so that's not Carl. Sorry, I, I think I pulled the wrong lever. Oh, don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. Tell the others where I am. I can't. 
can't, though. I think I'm gonna have to kill him to get past. It's really unfortunate. No, I gotta turn off the power. Yeah, I gotta kill this guy to get through. Is this just another hiding cubby? Looks like. So I'll probably come back through here later. So I am definitely going to be attacked by something right after I kill Carl. What a shame. Poor Carl. Alrighty, sorry Carl. Please tell Amy! I need help! I'm sorry, Carl. No, I killed Carl. Shit. The sliding system is great.
All right, so next, after I shake this guy off, I'm going to want to go and redirect power to the communications so I can figure out what I'm supposed to do next. Turn left, god damn it. Turn left. All right, so how am I going to get around this guy? That's what I want to know. Cuz I need I need to divert power back to the comms.
New York status offline. Last contacted 2103 January 10th at uh, 1924 hours. Jonesy, the office is closing down and we're being evacuated. From everyone here, I want to say it's been an honor working with you and Upsilon. Godspeed and good luck with the apocalypse. Ben. Libsyn, Maine. Status offline. Last contact, 2103, January 12th, 452. Update on the defense measurements. Final efforts by the global community to prevent collision has failed. Pathos 2 should make any final efforts to deal with the inevitable quake following impact. Estimated time for impact, 0513. Liz. So yeah, so only 20 minutes after this last message. So it must be some kind of like dinosaur extinction level event. A uh, huge asteroid impacting Earth. Last contact, 2103, January 11th, 12 o'clock. Dear Miss Vigus, John's daughter. It's with great sadness I have to inform you that the office will close and I can no longer support Upsilon and Pathos 2. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, your supervisor Jane Adams, and the rest of the staff. You are a terrific group, and it's with great confidence that I say where we fall, you will surely carry on with bravery. Sincerely, S System Director James Bloom. Okay, so this asteroid must have wiped out pretty much most life on Earth, except for underwater. Um, water is very resistant to, you know, concussive events. So that makes sense that this would be probably the only safe place on Earth. Cat is. Last contact, 2103, January 12th, 512. Okay, so right before impact. Jonesy, I know you have a much better chance for survival, but we have a much better view. Salute. That's really, uh, that's really dark. At least he's got a good humor. 30 seconds before death. So now we know what happened. I have one of these. These are nice. Okay. Let's play them chronologically. Jonesy, how's an evac coming along? We've got everything we need to move, but we can't leave the plant without supervision. Adams decided to leave Amy, Asaro, and Kalsanka to execute the automatization process. And I bet they're thrilled about it. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know we're on schedule, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. I'll pass on the whole check. Let me re-look at, uh... Okay, so January 12th is the when the impactor hit Earth. So they've got about six months. Wait, 2103? Okay, 2103. Yeah, so that was 2103 January is when it hit. And this was 2103 in um, April. Okay. So this is after the ap apocalyptic event. Jonesy, will be going for evac, am I right? It will do. I wanted to introduce you to Amy and Co. They'll be doing the talking as soon as I leave for Theta. Say hello. Hey, Theta. Hello. Hey, guys. I'm Peter Stress, and dispatcher at Theta. Just let me know if there's anything I can do to help. I suppose that's it. I'll see you real soon. When we arrive. All right, Jonesy. Have a safe trip. Wait a second. Uh Okay, twenty one oh three January, okay. So they must be evacuating from another underwater station. Hey, hello, Beta. Absalon. What's up? We could really use direct contact with Heather. Uh, I mean uh, site service engineer wool check. Direct links are almost impossible to establish. The Lumar relays are basically junk at this point. You can send messages via the comm center, and if you want, I'm pretty much always here, ready to relay anything by hand. I, I know it's a shitty system, but it's all that works right now. All right, we just have to make do. Catch you later. Hello? Peter with it? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? We're getting out. I just want to tell you that I'm going to seal the comm. 
comm center now, so this is definitely the last you'll hear from us. If we don't show up in the next couple of hours, send in the cavalry. Hang on, what's happening? It's still the same plan, right? Yeah. We'll head for the shuttle and ride it directly to Theta. Okay, good. I'll rally the troops for a welcome party. <laughs> good, I like to hear. So basically, these robots were semi-sapient, but also very servile. They were using them to keep this kind of last best hope for humanity up and running. You know, this, this amount of complicated stuff certainly requires a lot of labor. And basically, there was a robot uprising. But yeah, before that, we get the sense that a huge meteor impacted Earth killed all life above water. System, but it's all that works right now. All right, we just have to make do. Catch you later. Hey, hello, Beta. Absalon, what's up? Hello, Peter, was it? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? We're getting out. I just want to tell you that I'm going to seal the comm center now, so this is definitely the last you'll hear from us. If we don't show up in the next couple of hours, send in the cavalry. Hang on, what's happening? It's still the same plan, right? Yeah, we'll head for the shuttle and ride it directly to Theta. Okay, good. I'll rally the troops for a welcome party. This is really spooky. What on earth is that noise? So I'm guessing that uh, Theta is probably the only station that has any living humans. Everybody else got killed by the robots. All right, Tau. They did. Omega. What do we got, Omega? They did. Omicron. Omicron. Here we go. 
That's pretty messed up. That sounded like a robot talking. But I wonder if it was like a, uh, a formerly human. But yeah, very unfortunate with the, uh, the whole surface world being destroyed by Apocalypse. Okay, so Upsilon... There might be humans left, but I just can't contact them, is what it said, basically. Hey, are you there? I found the dome ceiling. Oh, that's better. Simon, was it? Uh, Jared. Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Where do you even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Upsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pezos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like, staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. Except for one. I think he said his name was Carl. He was okay, but... I'm... I'm pretty sure I accidentally killed him by turning off the power. Oh. Well... You know, robots don't feel anything, so... That one did. Yeah. What was that? Whoa! What's going on? This place is about to collapse. What do I do? Simon, come to Lambda. Uh, how do I get there? There are shuttle trains connecting all the sites. Find one and come here. I'll wait for you. Shit, shit, shit. Where do I? Where should I? Oh, fuck. that deep underwater that's gotta be that pressure change would be painful because every like 33 feet or something is one atmosphere of pressure yikes what what the hell how is this possible Oh, shit. Okay, so it looks like I'm an android. I'm not a human. Why was I in the pilot seat, though? So this is making me think more and more this is all a dream, and this is just kind of figment of his replicated mind inside of the, uh, the lab back in Toronto where he got his brain scanned. So none of this is real. But at least for the sake of this story... Uh, I guess he is an android. <laughs> Plot twists. They probably wouldn't be too happy to see me, though, considering I'm a robot, too. It's Subnautica! The 
This looks like a shuttle landing site. Where's the shuttle? That's jammed. Let's follow this path and see where it leads. So yeah, pretty deep underwater. Can't even see the surface. That must have protected them from the impactor. Okay, but when I went there, the power was off, so I'm I'm highly skeptical that anybody's still left alive, given that the main power plant was mostly off. They did have about 13 days of reserve power left. It had been, like, offline for, like, 100 and something days. But the odds are increasing that um, that Lady Catherine that I was talking with is not actually a human. I might be kind of walking into a trap. <laughs> That's really creepy. Is that dangerous? I hear something. Hopefully that won't come back to kill me. That must be autonomous. Oh no, don't fall on me. Oh, he's gonna give me away. Bastard. I 
don't want to be lit up. Risky. Something's nearby. My screen is getting staticky. Okay, I'm clearly going the wrong way here, but... Getting some good exploring in. Where did I want to go? Was it Lambda? Or the shuttle from... I can't remember. Okay, so that's a bug, but my mouse 4 and mouse 5 key bindings do still work, even if they weren't labeled correctly. So. Did I come from Upsilon? Okay, this is where I came from. So whatever I'm supposed to do should be over here. Follow the lighting cues. What do the lighting cues tell me to do? I guess this station here that that submersible was ramming itself into.
do I get up there, though? Like, I... Unfortunately, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. The The usability cues aren't very clear, and I forgot what station it said already. What? That doesn't have a clip brush? Oh my god. Is there a ladder or something around here? Alright, I'm gonna have to look this up online. This is ridiculous. There we go, finally. Open, gosh darn it, open! Casper, the friendly ghost. Well, thanks, little guy. But yeah, unfortunately, so the lighting cues were okay, but, you know... Honestly, there should there should have been a different motif between the navigation lighting cues and the like environment exploration lighting cues, but that's just kind of a quibble. Minor quibble. I'm just not very smart to begin with, so that's fine. So nobody's come through here in quite some time, apparently. So the shuttle still work. 
Okay, so I missed the story portion. I think that was Amy. That must have been before she went to where I was at. So she didn't make it to Theta, it seems. She might have died here. that blood? No, it's that black, uh, whatever the heck. So I guess, so one, one possibility story-wise is that, you know, I have been kind of, this is all a simulation. I've been sucked into the matrix by whatever the heck happened in that Toronto lab. Another possibility is that basically my consciousness of the of the whatever the guy's name is was captured in that lab, but then, you know, a hundred years later, when they're trying to build this, you know, arc for humanity to survive a massive meteor. Um, that they had my brain just somewhere sitting on a hard drive, and they're like, hey, let's get him running on one of these robots so that he can do menial tasks. Um, so that is a possibility. I'm kind of more leaning towards the this is all a simulation, though, just based on the story cues we've been given so far. Hey, are you... Don't hurt me! Can I help? They won't let me die. Nothing is allowed to die. What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. Anything I can do? If you see Masters of Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. Oh, this is Amy. Damn. Poor Amy. It's really messed up. No! Shit, are you okay? Are you okay? I don't know. I want to go home. What is this thing? It just seems to like have grown. It's like a mixture of the coral, something alive, and some kind of structure gel or sciency goop. Sorry, Amy. Damn. Oh fuck. That's no way to live. Sorry, Amy. Well, 
I guess we got our power back. I just had to come here and mess everything up. Kill all these robots and people. So sad. Alright, and I'm guessing there's going to be a bad guy around this corner. Do I know what the consequences are going to be of me throwing that switch? Eh, not really. So I'm going to look around for a good hiding spot. That's a decent hiding spot. That's a better hiding spot behind that door. And yeah, let's, uh, let's flip this, see what happens. Like bull. <laughs> Manifest shuttle beat route. Upsilon beta through theta departure date on uh, hasn't left yet items lightweight tether 250 meters hazard report number 11 helper kit four and three auto inflators Pathos to memo impact event on this morning of January 12th at 5:13 a.m. The comet Talos crashed into the Pacific Ocean impact ranks as one of the largest collisions ever recorded on Earth all evidence indicates that the surface has gone completely barren and is no longer able to sustain life. Patho 2's unique location has provided unparalleled safety for our staff. Some structural damage has been noted, but no casualties reported. The largest loss was the weather and communication station located on service platform Omega, unmanned, which is, uh, under the circumstances, a small price to pay. Data will hold an emergency meeting to discuss the future of Pathos 2 and ultimately mankind. More on the matter will follow. Overseer K. Forquin. I guess it's a good thing we never had any kids. Hard enough looking my parents in the eyes. They're going to a bomb shelter upstate, by the way, along with your dad. I'm guessing someone will help him send you a message somehow. I mean, I hope they will. Hell, I'm not even sure you'll get this message. If you do, I want you to know I never blamed you for following your dreams. It just... I was just mad it didn't fit better with what I imagined our lives would be. I really wanted the picket fence, big family, you know? I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm proud of you. And even though it's been difficult to be separated from you, I regret nothing. I'm happy. And I really wish I was able to say this without the sky falling down. I love you, Amy. I always have. And always will. Poor Amy. So sad. Alexa, play Despacito. Oh, it's the husbando in the little house with the picket fence. That's so sad. Amy is quite an artist. Well, I guess... Uh, uh, hello? Okay, I guess I'm taking this one. So that, I could have easily missed that if I didn't see that those doors were interactable. But... I'm glad I saw that. Floatable airlock repair set, 
uh okay and so just they're okay so they they knew the airlock was broken and they were trying to repair it shuttle j6 activated standing by i hope i don't have to use that in here. Do I not have enough power? What am I missing? No, I can't turn it back off, so I can't get in there. Communications are down, but that's to be expected. Uh, hello? This game might be bugged. Well, it said it was active. Why am I... Adaptable pipes. Why does that matter? Oh. Oh, come on. That's dumb. I'm not very smart. Theta had no contact, I think. Uh, one of these was the one when where the robot came on the phone and basically told me to off myself. Which is, yeah, thank you, that's very helpful. Lambda is where Catherine was, but I'm like 50% sure Catherine is actually secretly a robot trying to kill me, so. As if there weren't enough of those around. way to the stars. What started as a thermal mining operation in the 60s has now become home to the Omega Space Gun, the world's most affordable way to launch satellites and deep space probes. Our unique Atlantic Ocean location allows for this gigantic coil gun, running longer than a marathon, to safely launch projectiles without risk of damaging the payload with risky combustion. The station's at multiple sites and has a diverse staff of engineers and scientists. Together, they are able to produce, assemble, and launch the world's most sophisticated spacecrafts. In addition to our principal operation, Pathos 2 is also the home for multiple research projects within the marine sciences, including hydroculture, turbulence, and deep sea construction. We are now leaving Upsilon for Lambda. Lambda is Pathos 2's shipping dock and transportation hub. There, you will be able to find shuttle trains leading to all the other parts of the station. So they, they said without combustion, but the problem of having a coil gun on Earth is even if you get something into near orbit, you still have to do a circularization burn once you get out of the atmosphere, 
Because otherwise, your perigee just lands back on the, uh... So... You would still need to do combustion once it's in space. Otherwise, it would just fall back down to Earth, right where you launched it from. I knew this was going to be used. Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you alright? The system says the section is sealed for a suspected hull breach. No, I'm not alright. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. What is that? What's going on out there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Okay. You okay? Okay, so she knows that I'm an android. So yeah, equally likely that this is all a simulation as my scan that was sitting on a hard drive somewhere from the 21st century was pulled into the 22nd. So, one of those two. But Catherine seemed to know I was a robot. I wonder if Catherine is an android or if she is a malicious AI trying to kill me. Let's do some exploring before I exit. All right, so nothing of interest. Catherine, Catherine, Catherine. I don't trust her. Fuck, I forgot the Omni tool back in the shuttle. Yep. I was just wondering that. That was weird. That was uh, another android that looked just like me. Did he steal my Omni tool? Better not have. All right, and I still have level three access. Spooky ghosts. <laughs> oh. 
That level transition, though. And this is probably one of the best ladders I've ever used in a video game. Alrighty. Ladders are a pain point for interface. I can find land up, right? I mean, really? How big is it should be? Pretty big. Look at these sick bunny hops. See, that's Delta. Where's Lambda? I should have paid closer attention to that map I had earlier on the shuttle. Why is that there? He doesn't sound happy. Where did everyone go? There you are. Fuck. Lambda. Oh wait, is that a lambda? That must be a lowercase lambda or capital lambda. One of those. The one that I'm not familiar with. This must be lambda. What character is this? This might be a good place for me to stop. <laughs> 